Lucy Cavanaugh? Yes. Mother of Edward Cavanaugh Jr.? Yes. Here's your flag. My flag? Yes, ma'am. Why? What? Oh, I'm the FRO, and you're listed as the PNOC. The PNOC? Primary next of kin. Like when someone dies? Yes, ma'am. I don't understand. Oh, uh, it's part of our new advanced notification program. Which means? The military is now using computer algorithms tied into strategic operations, and we can tell ahead of time who will die for their country. But Eddie just enlisted yesterday. Oh, it's a very efficient program. Uh, but he's only 18 years old. He's too young to die. He knew the risks, ma'am. It's in the literature, page 12 in the fine print in the bottom. Uh, but nobody ever reads the fine print. It's war, ma'am. It's all about killing. I know. But we always thought if there was killing, that Eddie would be the one to do it. I mean, he's American. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. But every once in a while, one of those bastards gets in a shot. <laughs> but he's right here in the bedroom watching television. Oh, good. Well, we can do some planning then. Make it easier on you when he dies. But I don't want him to die. I'm sorry, but if nobody died, then it wouldn't be war, would it? At least this way, Eddie can make some choices. Choices? Well, like maple or mahogany. What? The casket, ma'am. Maple or mahogany. Eddie? Yeah? Do you prefer maple or mahogany? Which one's mahogany? It's the dark wood, honey, like the bookcase in the living room. Yeah, mahogany, I like that. Good choice. And would Eddie prefer to be buried in civilian clothes or military uniform? Eddie? What? Never mind. We'll go with the uniform. He'll look great. Oh, they all do. So, can we transfer the free college education to his sister Emily? No, I'm sorry. The college education is not transferred. But he won't be around to use it. That's not fair. I'm sure if he would have known, he never would have enlisted. But if he wouldn't have enlisted, he wouldn't have taken over the machine gun post at Hill 42. Five other soldiers would have died. You mean my Eddie saves those boys? Yes, ma'am. Eddie, you're going to be a hero! What? So if he'll be a hero, does that mean he'll be getting a medal? Oh, yes. Uh, Eddie will receive three medals, including the Bronze Star. That's a good one. Wow. Do you suppose we could get those medals now? I mean, since you know in advance, we could put them with his football trophies. I'm sorry. We used to do that. But some of the families began selling them on eBay. Cheapens the whole thing. I know. Some people just don't appreciate. Sad, but true. I mean, if my son is going to be replaced with a mahogany casket and some medals, those medals better mean something. Oh, and don't forget the flag. Finest Egyptian cotton. 800 thread count. I know. It's so soft. Do you have children, officer? Yes, I do. Three. Any in the service? Uh, my oldest, Michael. And did the military do this advance notifying thing with him? Yes, they did. He'll do three tours of duty and come home without injury. Oh, well, that's good. Well, and then get PTSD and commit suicide two years later. That's horrible. Ah, uh, what are you going to do? Well, at least you'll still have your other two children. And you will have your flag and the medals. Unless I sell them on eBay, uh, which I probably won't. <laughs> well, you won't need the money. When Eddie dies, the military will pay you a death gratuity. Death gratuity? $100,000. Yay! I, I mean, not yay, but $100,000 is a lot of money. Yes, it is. Do I pay taxes on that? No, you don't. Yay! I, I mean, not yay, but I just think Eddie is worth the full 100000 Oh, we agree, ma'am. We place a high value on our military young people. One last thing. Yes? The advance notification, it's just between the FRO and the PNOC. Between the... you and me? Right. We've found that if the recruit learns about their situation, they sometimes tend to run off. You mean go AWOL? My Eddie would never do that. I hope not. Throws off the algorithm completely. And, of course, there'd be no... No death gratuity. Correct. Well, I did sign the papers. <laughs> We thank you for your cooperation, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get you one of those medals ahead of time. Yay! And, of course, the flag is yours to keep right now. Oh, Eddie. You're worth so much to me. You're a credit to your country, Mrs. Cavanaugh. We thank you for your contribution. My contribution? Your son's life. God knows I'm not going to go fight these wars. Are you? Oh, heavens no. Well, there's got to be our children, obviously. 
Obviously. Thank you so much, Mr. Kavanaugh. Have a nice day. I will. Mrs. Kavanaugh, you said you had a daughter, correct? Yes, Emily. Want to go double or nothing? Try for that college education again? Emily? I went down to camp along with Captain Good, and there we saw the men and boys as thick as hasty could. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle, guarantee. Find the music and the snap.